Hello friends, in this video, we will study about the properties of Bohr's compound. As we all know, in the manufacturing of cement, there are four major compounds. Hello friends, in this video, we will study about the properties of Bohr's compound. There are four kinds of Bohr's compound as we all know, and their properties majorly define the properties of cement. So let's begin. So there are four different kind of box compound. What are they? They are alite, belite, salite and salite. These compound define the properties of cement. So let's study about them. So the very first compound would be alite. Let's try calcium silicate C3S. Now C3S is the best cementing material and it's a well burning material as well. C3S causes clinker to grind very well and it improves the resistance to freezing and thawing. C3S hydrates rapidly and gives high heat of hydration and develops early hardness and strength. But raising C3S above the defined limit would cause high heat of hydration that's highly undesirable. C3S causes high solubility and hydrolysis of C3S is responsible for 7 day strength. Also C3S is prone to chemical attack. And the heat of hydration of C3S is 500 joules per gram. Now let's talk about dicalcium silicate that's C2S. So C2S hydrates and hardens slowly and it's hydrating and hardening slowly so it would be responsible for ultimate strength. So C2S responsible for ultimate strength of cement and it improves the resistance to chemical attack. But if there is increase of C2S it would lead to hard clinker and hard clinker it's not easy to grind them. Also excess of C2S would cause reduced early strength because it is responsible for ultimate strength and it would reduce the resistance to freezing and thawing and it could benefit in the form of decreased heat of hydration. At early age, C2S has very less influence on strength and hardness, but it impacts a strength after one year. And the heat of hydration of C2S is less, that's 260 joule per gram. Now let's talk about tricalcium aluminate. Tricalcium aluminate, that's C3A, reacts rapidly with water and is responsible for flesh set. But this is not the desirable property and for this we must add gypsum around 2 to 3 percent to reduce flesh set. Also C3A is prone to chemical attack. Now C3A is responsible for initial setting of cement, high heat of hydration, C3S causes excessive volume change and this could lead to cracking. C3S gives lower ultimate strength because it is responsible for initial set or flash set. C3A is responsible for high heat of hydration and that is 865 joules per gram. As we have already studied, C3S and C2S. And the heat of hydration of C2S is 260 joule per gram. Whereas of C3S is 500 joules per gram. And of C3A is 865 joules per gram. That's highest of all. And this is least of all. Now we'll talk about tricalcium aluminoferrite. That's C4AF. It is again responsible for flesh at 
and it is having the poorest cementing value. So C4 AF is having poorest cementing value and highest cementing value is of C3S. And raising C4 AF reduces the strength. And the heat of hydration is 420 joules per gram. So when we talk about strength, we know the poorest is C4 AF. Poorest is C4 AF and highest cementing value is C3S. And when we talk about heat of hydration, so the highest heat of hydration is C3A. That's 865. 865. And C2A is least. That's 260. And C4 AF is 420 and C3S is 500 all values in joules per gram. So the points to remember are C3S and C3A these are prone to chemical attack. C4AF and C2S gives resistance to chemical attack. C2S low heat of hydration that's 260. C3S best cementing value. C4 AF and C3A flash setting and to prevent flash setting we must add gypsum 2 to 3 percent. And C3A volume change and it might cause cracking. So that would be all for this video. Thanks for watching our video. Stay tuned with us and subscribe to our channel, Ikira.